in this tutorial we are going to cover a more advanced strategy called Naked Pairs. Let's consider the puzzle here. Using the basic strategies that we covered in the first tutorial, we were able to fill in all those cells that are marked in blue. But at this point, we hit a brick wall. So now is the time that we need to get a little bit more sophisticated. So the first thing we need to do is to mark in all the possible values for each of the unsolved cells. In other words, what numbers can possibly still fit in each cell? So having done that, we end up with a puzzle looking like this. Now what we're going to look for in naked pairs is any two cells in any row, column or block that both contain only two possible numbers and the same two possible numbers. So let me say that again. We are looking for two cells in any row, column or block that both contain only two possible numbers and those two possible numbers are the same. Okay, here we have found an instance of what I've just mentioned. If we look in row 7, we will see that those two green cells both have the possible numbers 4 and 7. In other words, one of these cells is a 4 and one of them is a 7 but we don't know which one is which. Either this one is a 4 and that is a 7 or that one is a 4 and that is a 7. What this means is that no other cell in that row could be a 4 or a 7. So if we have a look at the highlighted cell we see that it can't possibly be a 7 because one of the green cells is a 7. Therefore, we can remove that 7 possible from the cell. And that's very useful, of course, because it then tells us that this cell must be a 2. Here is another example. In row 3, we find a pair of cells, both with the possibles 5 and 8. Therefore, one of these cells is a 5, and one of them is an 8. This means that no other cell in that row could be a 5 or an 8. So if we look at the first cell in that row, we see that we can remove the 5 as a possible candidate for that cell. Similarly, we can remove the 5 as a candidate for this cell. Now it gets interesting because we now have a pair of cells in column 4 that both contain a 2 and a 6 possible. In other words, one of these two green cells is a 2 and one of them is a 6. This means that no other cell in that column can contain a 2 or a 6. So therefore we can remove the 6 as a possible in the highlighted cell, which then reveals to us that it must be a 5. This technique is not limited to pairs of possibles, but also extends to triplets and quads. In other words, naked trips or naked quads. For example, if three cells in a row, column or block all contain exactly the same three possibles, then all other cells in that row, column or block cannot be those numbers. This does not occur that often, but it's certainly worth keeping in mind. 